Machine learning is a buzzword in the technology world right now and for good reason it represents a major step forward in how computers can learn. So hello and welcome all to this YouTube session. This is Atul from Edureka and in today's session we'll be dealing with top 10 applications that are using the power of machine learning in new and exciting ways. So starting with on number 10 we have the application of machine learning in Google Map. Google map is probably the app which we use every time we go out a couple of days ago I was driving to the other part of the city with Google map guiding me on my side I was traveling somewhere on the outer ring road when the maps voice said despite all the usual traffic you're on the fastest route but how does the Google map knows that well it's a combination of the number of people who are currently using this service its database of historical traffic data and a few technological tricks it has absorbed from other companies Everyone who uses a Google map is helping the app become a little more accurate and a little more indispensable for the rest of us. When the app is open, it is constantly sending information back to Google, providing data about the route being traveled and what the traffic patterns and the average speeds are like at any given time of the day. All the information from the number of users who are using the app on a regular basis has given Google a huge database of traffic data which allows it not only to monitor what's happening right now, but also to more accurately predict what will happen as you continue on that particular route. Google Maps lead product manager, Amanda Lechit Muri, said that it is not just what traffic is right now, but how do we expect it to change over the next hour or two? We can tell you the traffic jam ahead is that going to add five minutes to your trip or 10 minutes or 40 minutes to your trip. There's a lot of modeling that is required to anticipate how the traffic will change over a given period of time. Next on number nine, we have automatic friend tagging suggestion by Facebook. Well, this is a very common application of Facebook, which you must have encountered while crawling through your Facebook page. Whenever a picture is uploaded on Facebook, it suggests you asking if you want to tag your friend in the pic or not. So how does it do that? Well, this is done by Facebook's face detection and recognition algorithm, which is based on the advanced deep learning research project called DeepFace. Well, DeepFace is a deep learning facial recognition system created by a research group at Facebook. It identifies human faces in digital images. For example, in this picture, the Facebook is automatically identifying the person in the picture and is asking me whether I want to tag that particular person or not. And just to tell you, yes, it has predicted the person correct. Next is the auto all tags which we get in Facebook. So in order to explore it, you need to perform a series of tasks. So first of all, you need to open an image in Facebook and right click on it for inspect element or press the F12 button and then check the inspector tab for the HTML code for that particular image. Now check the alt element content. It will give you a general description of the image like number of persons or whether they are he she are sitting standing laughing. If it is a close up pic, it's a screenshot or anything, right? For example, in this case, what do you see? You see an image which is somewhat related to or contains clouds, trees, natures, etc. Right? Let's see what Facebook has to say for it. Well, when you inspect the elements, you will see that it has automatically identified the image and added relevant alt tags with it, which suggests or gives a rough idea of what the content is in the image. So here, the machine learning is suggesting that this particular image may contain tree, sky, plant, outdoor, and nature. Really cool, isn't it? So let's move ahead. So moving on ahead on number eight, we have application of machine learning at Uber or how Uber is using machine learning for them. Well, this is another common example of the app, which almost every one of you must be using in your day to day life for commuting purpose. You know what? When you are booking your Uber ride, you already are using the power of machine learning. Specifically, Uber has used machine learning techniques to bring greater personalization into its app. The app starts simply by asking for your destination, including a number of predictions based on your habits and your current location. For example, if you are at office, it will assume that you want to go home or to the gym or to the pub. You can say that it is capable to understand and guess your traveling habit. Uber is also using machine learning algorithm layered on the top of historic trip data to make more accurate estimated time of arrival information. Danny Lang, the former head of machine learning at Uber, has seen a significant improvement in estimated delivery times as he brought more data and algorithm into the Uber Eats food delivery side of the business. He even said that we saw a 26% uplift in the accuracy from that. Whoa, that's a really great uplift for Uber. 
So let's move on ahead. So on number seven, we have application of machine learning and ads recommendation. Have you ever noticed the relevancy of those ads to your search history? Well, let me just give you an example. Suppose you check out something on Amazon for shopping, but you decide not to buy it then and then. Later, you forget about that. The very next day when you visit YouTube, you are astonished to see an ad of that same product over there. Now you visit your Facebook again the same ad. Now you wonder how does these guys even know what I'm looking for or what I'm planning to buy? Well, let me clarify this for you. Google tracks your search history and then it recommends the ad based on that and machine learning is the one which helps Google to achieve this. All you need to figure it out is what exactly you are trying to predict. Are you trying to predict what types of user click on what type of ads or how likely certain types of users are to return to this site? So this was about the ad recommendation. So moving on ahead on number six, we have Apple. Well, every one of you must know about the facial recognition feature of iPhone X, right? Well, developing a smartphone with facial recognition is not that easy. With Face ID enabled, an iPhone X user simply holds up the device and it recognizes his or her face. At the core of the face detection ability is the use of machine learning algorithm that had been enabled to learn who you are. Even with little alterations like glasses and makeups and even a beard too, the software will be able to recognize you, but only after getting better after a certain period of time. Apple has tapped multiple neural networks for this feature. While Touch ID has a 1 in 50,000 chance that a random person could unlock your phone, Face ID brings that number up to a huge 1 in 100,000 chances. According to Apple, the only thing which can fool the software is if you are an identical twin. The face detection feature has been possible using a variety of hardware. The components are a dot projector, which is a structured light emitter, the infrared camera, which is a structured light receiver, the flood illuminator, which is an ambient sensor, and a proximity sensor. Finally, the iPhone X front camera gathered the 2D data regarding the user face. The dot projector projects around 30,000 infrared dots onto the user face when they stare at their phone. This iPhone X, it comes with a powerful neural engine A11 processor. The A11 has an ability to speed machine learning and artificial intelligence processing for tasks such as facial recognition, which is called as a face ID on the iPhone X. Okay. Next on number five, we have application of machine learning in Tesla. All of you must have heard about Tesla's self-driving car, right? You don't need a driver in that and the car will automatically drive you to your destination, right? Tesla's current AI is driven by a partnership with hardware manufacturer Nvidia, which is based on an unsupervised learning model of machine learning. On its Facebook page, Nvidia has stated that in contrast to the usual approach to operating self-driving car, it did not program any explicit object detection, mapping, path planning, or control components into this car. Instead, the car learns on its own to create all necessary internal representation necessary to steer simply by observing human drivers. Tesla effectively crowdsources its data from all of its vehicles as well as their drivers, with internal as well as external sensor which can pick up information about a driver's hand placement on the instrument and how they are operating them. In spite of helping Tesla to refine its system, this data holds a tremendous value in its own right. The researchers at McKinsey and company estimate that the market for vehicle gather data will be worth around $750 billion a year by 2030. The data will be used to generate highly data dense map showing everything from the average increase in the traffic speed over a stretch of road to the location of hazards which cause drivers to take actions. Machine learning in the clouds takes care of educating the entire fleet. While at an individual car level, the edge computing decides what action the car needs to take right now. A third level of decision making also exists, with cars able to form network with other Tesla vehicles nearby in order to share local information and insights. In the near future scenario where these autonomous cars are widespread, these networks will most likely also interfere with the cars from other manufacturers as well as other systems such as traffic cameras, road-based sensors or mobile phones. Next on number four, we have recommend a system by Netflix. So how do you think that every time you visit Netflix, you get a list of movies which are very similar to your interest? Well, there's also an application of machine learning, which not only Netflix, but various market giants like Amazon, YouTube or Pandora uses to target audience based on their individual interests 
by generating a recommended list of similar products, similar videos, or similar songs. You know what? More than 75% of users select the movies based on the recommendation generated by Netflix. Now on number three, we have an awesome invention for you. Mole, the world's first robotic kitchen. Mole is capable of replicating any dish cooked by any master chef in the world. Mole is a pair of fully articulated robots hand which reproduce the entire function of human hands with the same speed, sensitivity and the movement. The cooking skills of master chef Tim Anderson was recorded on the system and then Mole replayed his exact movements through his robotic hands. In 2018, Mole will launch the consumer version of the robotic kitchen, sophisticated yet compact. It will feature the four key integrated kitchen items of robotic arm, oven, hob, and touchscreen unit. The kitchen is operated by its touchscreen or remotely via smartphone. When not in use, the robotic arms retract from the view. In robotic use, the glass screens glide across the unit, enclosing it for safe use when no one's there at home. It is capturing the imagination of many industries and sectors and has been approached by many players in the restaurant industry, airline, kitchen developers, and even chef training schools. It is a very confident step that provides basis for the development and revolution of mass market. All right. So moving on ahead on number two, we have Google Translate. Remember the time when you were traveling to a new city and you had to face struggle in communicating with the local or reading local name of the places or reading the instruction or direction written in local language? Well, at some point or the other, we all have used Google Translator. It's free, fast, and provides a generally accurate translation of the word, sentence, or the power that we come across in under the language. While it's not 100% accurate, especially for the larger blocks of text or some specific languages, it can provide you with a general meaning of a given foreign language text. Google Translate works using the statistical machine translation, the SMT where the computers analyze millions of existing translated documents from the web to learn vocabulary and to look for patterns in a language. Google Translate then picks the most statistically probable translation when asked to translate a new bit of text. Okay, so next time when you encounter a signboard with a different language, remember to use Google Translate. So at last but not the least, on number one, we have QCA. Well, QCA offers a comprehensive range of industrial robots which uses machine learning for increased safety of human and robot collaboration. Within the project, QCA is researching the cause of problems in the development of sensitive robot applications using data analytics and machine learning methods. You'll always find the right choice no matter how challenging the application is. Like HRC capable lightweight robots for direct human robot collaboration, heat and dirt resistant robot for extreme ambient condition, industrial robots and cleaning variant for strict hygiene requirements. So these are various types of robots which are available under various situations, and these are designed using machine learning. Yeah, you guessed it right. This robot can even learn to play table tennis with you or even hold or catch things when thrown at him. So thank you folks. This was all for this session. In case you have any query, add your doubt to the comment section below. Thank you.